Scream Day Scream Day, celebrated on April 24th, sounds silly at first, but the day has its merits. Modern day hustling has led to a lot of pent up anxiety and pressure, which we all need a healthy way to channel. While meditation is a go to way to relax, many psychologists are convinced that there is nothing like a good old screaming to let it all out. Releasing build up frustrations through screaming is surprisingly calming for the brain. Scream Day raises awareness of the health benefits of screaming. At some point, all of us have benefited from letting out a long howl, whether it was screaming into a pillow, in the car, in an empty room, or in any space where we felt comfortable. Scream Day doesn't have a long history or any traditions, but this will likely change in a few years as we learn more about screaming and our pressure-filled lifestyles compel us to turn to new methods of venting and releasing tension. And although this holiday itself doesn't have a long history, screaming itself has been considered healing for centuries. Over 2000 years ago, screaming was viewed as therapeutic and supplementary to Eastern medicine. Master of Chinese medicine Dr. Lu believes that screaming aids with liver stagnation. Primal screaming was designed by Arthur Yanao as a way to process emotions and let it all out with a long howl. There is evidence that screaming taps into deep emotions and brings them to the surface. While there are benefits to screaming, using it as a means to heal must be done properly and not in a space that will make others uncomfortable or even justify bad behavior towards others using the guise of using screaming as a way to channel emotions. The best way to celebrate this day is to scream and let out all the frustration that have been building up. Find a screaming method that works best for you.